back straight. Stay back straight. Like that. Do it straight. Now go let your knees go up to your upper body. Good, like that. Good. Now stretch your heels all the way down, all the way down, and drive it up. Good. Good. Stretch, stretch. Up. Good. Again. Again. Good. Good. Again. Good. Now rep it out. Go. Go. Now rep it out. Three. Two. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Good job. Up, up. Oh, man. Yes. Ow. Oh. All right, guys. Welcome to Calves and Arms. We're going to go ahead and start off with calves because that's the body part everybody hates to do the most, especially those of you that have small calves. Those of you who have big calves, you probably didn't even train them in the first place. They were given to you by mom and dad. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the soleus, which is when your knee is bent. We wanna be able to really create that diamond shape from the back of your knee all the way down to your Achilles tendon and create a lot of that V taper all the way through into that back of that ankle. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the soleus, which is going to keep your legs straight so that we can really work on the gastro. And that gastro is going to be that upper part of your calf, that meaty portion that kind of creates that U that everybody loves to see, especially on stage. If you can get that, that's one thing. If you can get it striated, that's next level. So we're trying to do both. So we're gonna start off with seated calf raises and then go off and do a donkey calf raise with your legs straight and then move on to arms. That burn is what's gonna help you grow. The more you can withstand the burn, the more you'll grow. So don't pain. Good. Oh. Keep going. There you go. Oh. Good. Uh, come on. You got this. Good. Good stretch. Good. Good. Come on, baby. keep burning those partials. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, uh, up. Good. That's it. Okay. Up, 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 up. Wow. Oh. Oh, shoot. Okay, walk it off a little bit. Ooh. Walk it off just a little bit. Get some movement in there. And for those of you that are gonna ask about that shirt, that is a limited edition shirt. We have not dropped it yet. If it's something that you think that we should come out with, that Evigen Old English shirt established 2008, it's probably older than some of you that are watching this right now. They probably weren't even born yet, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be 17 years in the making since I started Evigen. But let me know in the comments whether you think we should drop that shirt. And if you do think we should drop the shirt, Definitely let us know what color. That is in the gold flake. Um, I actually have one in, in white also, which is black with white writing, but definitely put it in the comments below. Let us know. All right, we're gonna do a traditional donkey calf raise. A lot of gyms don't have this. Uh, I love it. Takes the pressure off of your back, puts it right on your lower back, goes straight down into your calves. Again, gastro, we're gonna try to keep your knees straight without being locked and get a really good stretch good range of motion. A lot of people ask whether or not we should move your feet around. I believe you should always try to do the basics, keep your feet straight, parallel, and then if you want to turn around and do some extra sets with your toes pointed inwards or outwards, by all means, go ahead and hit up some different angles, but always try to keep the basics consistent. Try to keep those feet parallel. Stretch. Good. Squeeze. Good. Good stretch, good squeeze, all the way up. Excellent, excellent. Keep going. Good. Now give me some reps. Go. Five, four, three, two. Keep going. Keep going. Three more. One. Higher. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good job. Good. When it comes to calves, it's really about volume, okay? You can't go super light, but you don't wanna go super heavy where you're only hitting six to eight reps. 
15 to 20 reps, I feel is a great zone because you're gonna be able to get a lot of time under tension. And then short rest periods doing FSD7 for calves, whether it's seated calf raises or donkey or standing calf raises is a great way of being able to get those calves to really grow and be able to break those plateaus. What's the, what's the lightest you ever were on stage when it came to being at the Olympia? Um, I think my weight, unfortunately, accidentally dropped too far and I got down to like 203 or something like that. 203, 204, that was the year before you and I worked together. Um, so when you placed fourth? Yeah. Got you, 203, 204. Because like we didn't mean for that to happen, it just, my body was a runaway train and we didn't quite know what to do with it um, to bring it back in time. Got you. And then um, that next year we, I don't want to say we barely made the 212, but it was a uh, right on the money 212. I was really happy with that 212 look to whenever I won, it's 2021. That was a very sharp 212 for me. Um, but at the same time, I knew I would never be my best with a, a weight cap at 212. It's all about the range of motion. If you notice, what's happening is he's getting that ankle all the way down. We're getting maximum stretch. Use a machine that you can make sure you go all the way down without your heels touching the ground, going all the way up. Again, this is with that knee just slightly bent. We're working on the gastro here. Keep going. Now, it's about the partials. It's how much burn can you withstand? Go. Keep going. 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 Last set. Come on, Dad. Come on. Big cows on stage. Let's go. Let's go. Keep going. Partials. Keep going. Those are partials. Let's go. Oh my god. That's it. Catch your breath for a second. Catch your breath for a second. Catch your breath. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset. We're gonna wait 15 seconds and then we're gonna do another set. And this is how you break plateaus. Those metabolites are just flowing into those calves. You get those growth factors going and that's how you're gonna be able to hyper-volumize. Let's go, come on. Let's go, come on, Derek. Let's go. Go, go. Control, control on the way down. Make sure you stretch. Make sure you stretch that heel. Perfect, go. Good, good, good. All the way, all the way. Oh my go gosh. Up. Go all the way up, go all the way up, cat. Go all the way up. That's it. That's it. Good job. Good job. Oh. Come over here, walk it off. Good. Okay. Go ahead and just stretch out right here. Bring your right calf back. Keep your heel down. Push your left foot forward. There you go. Good. Perfect. Just fold that stretch. Hold that stretch, you wanna hold that stretch for a good 15 to 20 seconds. Good. And then straighten out your right knee a little bit more. Straight, straight, there you go. You feel that stretch? Yeah. Good, hold that. Hold that stretch. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to really build up the width of the calf. And what you really wanna do is make sure you hit all the angles. Again, not just seated, not just standing. You gotta be able to use leg press. You gotta be able to move toe positions a little bit. You gotta be able to hit it at all the different angles. Good, straighten out that leg, straighten out that left leg. Straighten it out. Good job, Derek. Good. Now both feet together and then go up on your toes. There you go. Good, hold that. Hold it. Good. Down, slowly, slowly. Good stretch. And back up. P, good. Good, again. Good, again. Again. Squeeze all the way up. Good job. Good job, Gary. Crazy cap pump, huh? Yeah. Good. Again. Good, two more, two more. All the way up, good. One more, good. Now go ahead and rep them out, go. Uh, You're gonna grow into that pump, Derek. You're gonna grow into that pump, keep going. Keep going, 
Keep going. Ugh. Keep going, Derek. Keep going. Ugh. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Higher. Ugh. 6, 6. Go. 5, 4, Ugh. 3, Ugh. 2, Ugh. 1 more. Ugh. All the way up to the top and go down nice and slow. Ugh. Good job. Oh my goodness. Good. All right, so that's how you do a calf workout, guys. Do it in the beginning of your workout so you're not already taxed from doing legs or any other body parts, and you can really focus on the task in hand, which is to really break your plateau so that you can get those calves to grow. All right, guys, we're doing the Panada alternate curl, both at the same time. Again, forces that stretch. It's a 45 degree curl. Trying to straighten your arms as much as you can to get a good stretch and be able to contract all the way up. Good, Derek. Good. 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 Keep it moving. Control them on the way down. Slower on the way down. That's better. Up. Control them on the way down. Good job, bud. Squeeze and then control on the way down. You got this. Squeeze. Mm. Good. Mm. Good. Mm. Good. More. More. Okay, now go up, 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 up. Uh. Okay, like that. And go down nice and slow. Nice and slow. Good. Nice and slow. And then go one more like that. Up, up. Up, up, uh. up, up, up. Okay, right there. Hold it now. Now go down nice and slow. Uh. Get the shoulders back. And then just stretch the biceps. Stretch it all the way. Stretch, uh. stretch, 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 stretch. Hold it right there in that stretch. Hold it like that and stretch. Good job. Oh, my goodness. Let's go, come on. Last set on this. 45 degree Panada curl machine. Gonna really blast the biceps here. Get a great stretch at the very bottom. We're in the absolute supinated position on the handle because we have two different positions. So we're gonna go really turn that wrist at the top, shoulders back, let's go. <clears throat> Good. Stretch and squeeze. One. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay. Ten. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Good, not so fast on the way down. Slow it down, perfect, perfect. Drive it up, drive it up, drive it up. Uh, Again, come on, Derek, let's go. Two more, one more, one more at the top. Five second hold at the top. All the way, all the way, even higher. I'll help you, right there, now hold that. Five, four, three, two. Slow, 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 stretch, 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 good. Oh. Good. Goodness. Good. Good. If you haven't felt like you almost had to throw up doing biceps, you haven't trained them hard enough. Make sure you, I implore you, make sure you train your biceps just as hard as every other body part if you really want them to grow. We just got two more sets here. Side, other side, three reps. Go, other side, go. One, two, three, three back on the right. One, two, three, two on the other side. Go, one, two, two here. One, two, one, one. One, one, good job. Higher, 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 higher. 
Good. Good. Stretch, 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 stretch. A little higher up, a little higher up, a little higher up. That's it. Good. Just with every rep, go a little higher, a little deeper stretch. Good. Good, good depth in that tricep. So we hit that side tricep on stage. It really pops. Good. 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 Good job. Good. Good. Squeeze. Good. Two more. Good. Great. One more. Good job. Control that negative. Squeeze the partials. Go, go. Five. Good. Push. Four. Three. Go. Two. One more. Good job. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Stretch and squeeze. Good. Make him count for the stage, man. Keep him, make him count. Make him count. Good. Keep going. Keep going, Derek. Good. Good. Easy. Easy. Good job. All right, that was back biceps, and we got calves done today. So again, very efficient workout. Right before he leaves back for Tampa, we are at eight weeks out today. So um, tracking really, really well.